Hey everyone, Alan here again from the Wild Rift team. As 2021 draws to a close, we've still got tons of new content on the way in the upcoming patch 2.6, which is the last major patch of the year. But first, I do want to say a huge thank you to all of you. We appreciate every one of you for tuning in and playing Wild Rift, and we're incredibly grateful for your time and care as we continue to level up the game together. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Maddie, what's happening with Champions? Hey everyone, I'm Maddie, the new lead for Champions. I'm super excited to be able to bring two new champs to Wild Rift this patch. So we're diving straight into another fierce rivalry between two meta-defining legends. Kale, the Righteous, brings a ferocious new gameplay pattern to the Baron lane. Kale starts the game as a melee fighter who is very vulnerable to ganks and straight up 1v1s. She has a few tools at her disposal, including a projectile that slows opponents and Divine Judgment, an ultimate that can temporarily make her or an ally invulnerable before swords of holy fire rain down upon the enemy team. She's a little extra. But within Kale lies indomitable power. Over the course of each game, she evolves, becoming a terrifying, ranged, true damage AoE hyper carry, cutting down anyone she deems unworthy. A late game Kale is very difficult to overcome, so you'll need powerful CC and strong defensive abilities to take her down. Fortunately, Morgana, the Fallen, walks her own path to Wild Rift in December. Morgana is a mid laner and support who has powerful offensive and defensive abilities to control the pace of laning and teamfights. Her first ability, Dark Binding, roots opponents so her allies can chase them down. She can follow that up with her ultimate for a team-wide stun and use her black shield to protect her allies from crowd control and magic damage. Despite being Kale's sister, Morgana doesn't really agree with Kale's unique methods of dispensing justice. So we're holding an event to explore their rivalry further. Kale and Morgana's stories will be unveiled in the Path of Justice event in December, where you can pick up either of these champions for free. Before I go, I know I said we're only releasing two champions this patch, but we're also updating an old favorite. In patch 2.6, we'll be unleashing our first visual and gameplay update, or VGU, for the Madman of Zaun himself. Well, one of the Mad Men anyway. It's Dr. Mundo. With Dr. Mundo's VGU, we wanted to update his theme, not only to look better, but to more closely fit in with how League's visual style has evolved. During his gameplay rework, it was important for us to maintain his regeneration ability, his unending torrent of cleavers, and letting Mundo go even more where he pleases. And finally, it was crucial to keep Mundo a very simple champ to play. So, with the Dr. Mundo update, there are a few differences from his current iteration. For one, his new passive, called Goes Where He Pleases, occasionally prevents him from being immobilized, shooting off a chemtech canister from his body. He can pick it up to get an immediate health injection and a cooldown reduction on his next canister. Another change is his third ability, called Blunt Force Trauma. Mundo can use this to push minions or small monsters back in a line, dealing damage where they travel. You can use this to get some early harass on your lane opponent. We've shipped visual updates, or VUs, in Wild Rift, where some of our skins look very different compared to their League PC counterparts. Mundo is our first VGU, where an existing champion's gameplay is modernized, or adjusted from top to bottom. You may wonder why we do VGUs at all. For one, we want to make sure older or outdated champions have a solid place in the roster for the future. Or we want to double down and really deliver on a champion's gameplay fantasy if we don't think they're at a quality level that fits the current state of the game. But ultimately, we introduce VGUs for more niche champions to try and bring them into higher tiers of popularity while balancing the needs of their current players and not taking away what makes them special. As we consider more VGUs for the future, we want your thoughts and feedback to make the best versions of League's champs that we can. I really hope you'll enjoy Patch 2.6. Thanks, everyone. Now that the Horizon Cup has concluded, we want to shake up the meta game. We've got some new items debuting in Wild Rift that we hope are fun to play and cause a little bit of organized chaos in the meantime. We have two different spell shield items to protect you from pesky crowd control, Banshee's Veil and Edge of Night. You might recognize them from their PC versions. They work exactly the same way. Banshee's Veil is a magic resist item made for mages who need a way to survive against other spellcasters. 
After a brief period out of combat, you'll get a spell shield to absorb the next ability that hits you, including any crowd control effects. Better luck next time, Blitzcrank. Edge of Night is an armor penetration item for assassins. It's perfect for champs that need to get up close and personal to delete enemies. Edge of Night's spell shield protects against one magic damage attack, so you can use this to defend against stuns, knockups, and anything else that might get in the way of your plays. Hexet Mega Drive reduces your active item cooldown when you heal and shield your allies and when you immobilize enemies. If you love spamming your boots enchantment, this is the finishing touch for your support build. For aspiring gardeners, Ishtali Seajar comes to Wild Rift this patch. Seajar gives you health and ability haste with an additional unique effect. When you or an ally hit a nearby plant, it drops a seed that only you can see. You can pick up and replant that seed at any location on the map to reap its rewards after three seconds. We're excited to see all these items in action. In Ranked, we're increasing the number of champion bands per team from three to five, so everyone in your Ranked lobbies will always have one ban. We've been waiting for the right time to make this change. Now, we feel that the Wild Rift champion pool is big enough to support it, and players won't be shut out of meaningful choices. We'd like to introduce some really exciting updates to Ranked Rewards, which we hope will make the mode more satisfying for all players. We want to upgrade how we reward your playtime in Ranked, give all players more opportunities to progress, and provide extra choices over what you'll earn. We're excited to unveil the Season Reward System. Similar to the Wild Pass, you'll gain Season Points for the Ranked games you play. The Season Reward System will also track your individual performance in games, granting you more points and progress the better you play. To give you an extra boost on your seasonal journey, we're adding the Weekend Rewards series. Every weekend, you'll enter a limited time window to earn bonus progression on the Season Rewards track, if you win your games. This series ends after you win three games or after 48 hours, whichever comes first. So that's how you progress, but what do you actually get? For one, the Glory Skin is now exclusively available through this system. For players that hit gold or above, you'll now earn a sweet loading screen border to show off to your teammates. If you've been watching closely, you might have noticed there's a new type of currency called Ranked Coins. You can spend these in the new Ranked Store where you'll be able to pick up even more rewards for the games that you're already playing. The Ranked Store contains a bunch of accessories and glorious skins from past seasons. In Season 4, you'll be able to pick up Glorious Trindamir from the first season of the Open Beta, and in Season 5, next year, Glorious Jinx will make her second appearance. If Wild Rift wasn't live in your region back then, or if you just didn't climb high enough, this is your chance to get them. Dancing to the mechanical melody ticking in her clockwork, Glorious Oriana is your exclusive reward for Ranked Season 4. If you're the sort of player who's devoted to the climb, don't worry. Everything you've seen here is in addition to the current rank system, and we hope this makes the queue feel more rewarding and fun for everyone. There's so much more to talk about that we couldn't get into this video, so keep an eye out for a dev blog soon that covers everything coming to Ranked in patch 2.6. Another wild pass is on the way. Reach level 50 on this pass to earn Explorer Shivana and bring your Hexploration into the jungle. As always, we have a few quality of life changes to keep improving your experience every patch. Throughout this patch, we're updating how we handle intentional losing. We know behaviours like AFKing and intentional feeding are very disruptive, so we're tweaking things behind the scenes to take action on more players that ruin games. We're making some updates to the new player experience, which you encounter when you install Wild Rift for the first time. These rewards will be the same globally because we want the experience of getting into Wild Rift to be the same wherever you are in the world. The new mission track will be themed around our favourite loose cannon, Jinx. If you have friends who watched Arcane and are excited to jump into Wild Rift for the first time, we hope they'll enjoy meeting her in-game. The world of Crystal Rose comes to Wild Rift this patch, where Lux and her friends enjoy some merrymaking festivities. In 
a kingdom of fickle truces and centuries-old grudges, the annual Crystal Rose Festival is a place where guests set down their weapons and take up magical roses in peace and unity. We're giving the existing League PC skin line our own bright spin, featuring Sonar, Jarvan, and legendary skins for Lux and Ezreal. The technological neon world of Project returns again for another batch of skins. We've hacked into the mainframe and uncovered a Project event featuring Akali, Fiora, Jin, Katarina, and a legendary skin for Vayne releasing at the end of this year. It wouldn't be right to leave you without a classic Wild Rift skin montage. Let's do this. We're thrilled to celebrate the launch of the latest Riot Forge game, Hextech Mayhem, A League of Legends Story. Hello, Piltover! Developed by Choice Provisions, join Ziggs in bombing to the beat and rampaging through Piltover in this wacky rhythm runner. Available now on Nintendo Switch and PC. Complete the in-game Hextech Mayhem mission to receive a special Ziggs icon. That's everything for this time. We'll see you again in January with a look forward to 2022, along with our friends on League of Legends PC. In the meantime, good luck on your climb, enjoy the new skins and... Do you hear that? Primed, spatulas at the ready, Ultra Rapid Fire, one of League's most beloved game modes, makes its debut appearance. In Earth Mode, you can spam more spells than ever before with unlimited mana and greatly reduced ability cooldowns. The launch of Earth comes with the Ultra Rapid Bingo event, with missions and rewards up to your eyeballs. Be prepared for manatee sized chaos. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next year. Give me a little more spatula. Yeah, a little, little point, a little wave. Spatula. Is the spatula like uh, foam? Is yeah, it's super, it's like, it's like. Yeah. <laughs>